What's going on guys, Phil here from Phil's Craft Corner. Hope you're all having a great day. I'm having an absolutely amazing day because we finally hit 1,000 subscribers. And it feels absolutely amazing. I'm so happy. I love every single one of you guys. I'm so, so thrilled that there's a thousand people that want to watch my content. And to celebrate, I made myself a play button. So a few of you have probably already seen this from me posting into the YouTube groups and on Reddit just celebrating. Uh, I posted this to my Facebook page as well. And I said I was going to make a video on how I made it and this is that video. So I hope you enjoy this video, follow along and then if you hit 1000 subscribers, if you're already there, congratulations. But then you can make your own play button too and you can have something to hang on your wall and just give yourself a reminder of the task that you've achieved. It does help uh, every time I come up into my studio to do some recording. I see this on the wall and it just it brings a good big smile to my face and you know I, I've, I've achieved this, this is something that I've done and it just makes me feel so happy. But I couldn't have achieved this without you guys following along and subscribing. So if you're not already subscribed just hit that subscribe button. It does make me super super happy to see every single subscriber that I do get and I'm absolutely thrilled to have every single one of you. I think at the time of recording this now it's about a week after I hit a thousand and we're at a thousand and nineteen so thank you every single one of you guys. Now let's get in a video of how to make this plaque. And to make this plaque I used acrylic and when you're engraving on acrylic you want to cover the top layer with some washing up liquid. What this does is it stops any of the smoking effects from the engraving and it just leaves you a nice clean acrylic surface that you don't have to go back to with acetone or alcohol or anything like that because if it does get any engraving then it can crack and it doesn't look too great. So I just use my washing up liquid that I use to wash the pots with and I just smear it all over the acrylic where I'm going to be engraving. You don't want to put it on too thick because then you can get some spotty parts but you do want a decent layer over there. Do some testing on some acrylic just to make sure that you've got your settings just right for your laser, for your power settings and things like that and you'll be fine. I designed my design on Lightburn and what I did was I basically just copied and remade the image from a play button. So I searched on Google for a play button award and then I just went from that image and I typed everything out and positioned everything manually in Lightburn just so it looked similar and I was happy with the positioning. It's probably a little bit different. I think the play button's a bit different location on the actual play button but for me it looked great and it came out pretty well. The speed and power settings I use on this are 150 millimeters a second speed, 13% power on my 50 watt laser and I use a 0.05 line interval. I always do that on acrylic so you don't get any lines in there because it's very very clear on acrylic where you can see the lines. The reason I'm using a low speed and really low power is because we only want to touch the surface and I can probably increase the speed a little bit on this one but it, you start to get a little bit uh, blurry edges on there. Again do some testing for the speed and power settings for your machine and you will be fine and be happy just get some scrap acrylic and engrave on there. I did flip this image to be backwards because I wanted to engrave the back of the acrylic not the surface. That way you get a better light effect and it's a lot sm it's a smooth finish on the surface rather than the engraving being on the surface and you can feel it and it catches dust and over time it just it looks kind of a mess. The reason I say I could probably have increase the speed a little bit was on the big play button. I did end up with some banding in there and that's possibly due to the acrylic uh, because of the way it's made but 
it turns out okay because it kind of looks like an old CRT or tube TV and you get those banding lines in there I uh, don't know if you've seen a picture of one of them but you do get them banding lines in there because of the way the image is made on one of the old TVs so it looks okay because that's what the YouTube logo originally was it was an old TV with the play button in the middle as you can see here the smoke uh, residue from the engraving gets caught by the washing up liquid and that's where the parts are less shiny because it, it just sticks to that surface and then you can just wipe it off with a clean cloth then it's just a case of using some kitchen roll just to wipe off the excess washing up liquid once you've got most of it off then you can come back with a damp cloth and clean off the remaining residue from there but I left that till the very end after I'd completed and give everything a good polish because I was going to get fingerprints all over it anyway handling it constantly so there's no point in polishing it to a shiny finish at this point and now it's time for my favorite part which is peeling the back protective layer off which will be the front and revealing the final engraving And this is how it turned out. I think it turned out really nicely. Now I just need to add the lights to the edges and the frame. And I'm really happy so far with the progress on how this is going. The lights I got are some battery powered LED fairy lights. I got these off Amazon so I'll stick a link to them down below so you can pick them up. They come in a pack of 12 so you get plenty. I ended up with a lot of spare lights from this frame because they come in a three meter length and obviously I didn't need quite that much but they're cheap enough and you can add the lights together for a longer one later on down the line so all your spare lights you can add to another battery pack and it'll just make it that much longer the only issue I have with these lights is the battery packs a little bit funny so if you touch it the lights flicker but once the lights are on and it's just sat there it's perfectly fine and it lights up really well I obviously had to use Mitre Bond for this because it's just my favorite glue it works so well in all situations and it dries really really fast when gluing these on I did attach these with the LED light facing forward I don't know if you can see this I was trying to focus it in but there's um it's held on there with some hot glue and you want that hot glue blob to be facing towards the edge of your acrylic that way you get the most light from the LED because it's shining directly into the acrylic rather than away from it you'll probably get more sense of that if you do pick up some of these lights um, but the reason I use Mitre Bond is because it takes a couple of seconds you're not going to burn yourself and unlike hot glue it doesn't need a big blob to hold anything it just holds really really strongly on a tiny little blob and it's going in a frame too so that will hold it in place as well so these lights were the reason that I decided to go with 5mm acrylic because they fit perfectly along the edge without overhanging either side um, because these were roughly 4mm and that just worked out brilliantly for me if you weren't putting lights in there I recommend using two or three millimeter acrylic if you're doing this with a laser just to save on cost because it does end up quite expensive in the end with the acrylic one sheet of this acrylic in A3 size is roughly around 13 pound in the UK uh, that's on eBay with free delivery other places it was cheaper but then you have to pay for delivery so it ends up working out more in the long run but if you're ordering a lot more than one or two sheets then you might be better going direct to a supplier and getting them to cut them to size for you or just getting a big sheet and cutting it down to size yourself like I did with my how to save money on your materials video
So this was the first time switching it on with all the lights attached to the acrylic. Before that I kind of just sat the lights next to it to get a rough idea and um, I've got to say it looked absolutely amazing with the lights on it right next to the acrylic. It lights up absolutely perfectly and it hides that imperfection with the big play button with the banding I was talking about earlier and I was just super impressed with the results. As you can see you can just cut the wire on this with just a standard pair of scissors and that's perfectly fine and you can leave the end as it is. The next step was to cut out the framework on the laser. Um, I wanted to use the laser as much as I possibly could for this design because that's what most of my channel is about at the moment and it, it helps everything tie in a little bit better. I could have just cut these out of squares but I decided to make these out of the strips with the 45 degree matte edges just to finish it a little bit better and it uses a lot less material. As you can see it just uses a tiny bit in the top left of this off cut rather than using almost two full sheets of material to cut the framework out for it. So this is a rough fit of how the framework fits together and it looks really good with the lights in the background. I do have a backer board for this which I spray painted black but that's outside at the moment we're waiting for the paint to dry. So now you can see the components of that. I did smaller pieces that will fit around the frame and then another face frame to, just to cover the lights and the edge and just to f polish it off that little bit more. While gluing these together I decided to use my sacrificial surface because I didn't want to get glue on my nice surface underneath. It does make sense to have some kind of sacrificial surface for bits and pieces like this and if you're painting this is just an old piece of countertop that was just an off cut from a job that I finished. So it doesn't matter if I get some glue or paint or anything on here because it's just going to go in the bin at the end of the day. Gluing the outside strips was much easier than gluing the original face frame because I could just line this up with the very outer edge uh, because that's how I designed it and then I could just glue it to that surface and it worked really really well. I did have to get a file and groove out one of the corners just for the wire to sit in. I thought I'd cut one of them slightly short just so it could fit in there and slide across nicely uh, without getting in the way of the backer board. And then it was just another quick test to make sure I was happy with the colours and it looks absolutely amazing. Before gluing the backer board on I needed to give this a quick clean because it wasn't going to be taken out, it was designed to stay stuck in there. So I give the back a quick clean and then I stuck the backer board on. Doesn't matter that this isn't perfectly square, it's the back, nobody's going to be looking around the back and seeing that. It was just to give it some contrast behind the plaque and it helps that light shine even better. Then I make sure that I can get to the battery component before gluing the battery pack down. For some reason it curves in at the center of this battery pack so it didn't want me to glue it down that well. So I'll give it a quick sand and that made all the difference and it stuck down nicely. Well that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of making this 1000 subscribers plaque. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a good thumbs up. If you do enjoy this content, please consider subscribing because as I've said, it does make me super happy and it helps my channel grow. It's such an amazing help. If you do make one of these plays buttons, please let me know down below. You can send me a message on my Facebook, my Instagram. I'll put links to those down below and at the end of the video. I'd love to see what you come up with, what creative ideas you come up with. You can customise these yourselves to whatever you want. doesn't have to be this style. Um, doesn't have to have the lights in it. doesn't have to be on acrylic. You can just paint this on anything you want. You can use a marker pen or a bit of cardboard. It's just something to celebrate your achievement. And... I couldn't have done it without every single one of you watching these videos. Everybody that's subscribed so far, thank you so much. And 
yeah, it's just going to have a pride of place. Right here on my wall. Just like that, and you're going to be able to see it in every video. I'll have it lit up just to have that little bit of a flare, and it looks so good lit up. It's absolutely amazing. With all the lights turned off, I'll stick a picture on of me with all the lights turned off and this lit up. And I'm just super, super happy. So thank you all, and I will see you in the next video.